I've got another issue that I want to mention. If anybody has to go to the dentist, which is sometimes comes about, you've got a bad toothache, gum problems or whatever it, uh, the case is, and you need to go to a dentist. Well, first and foremost, try to avoid going in Ramadan to the dentist unless it's in the evening. There's not going to be many dentists open after iftar time, right? So generally, it's going to be in the morning time while you're fasting. And the problem with the dentist is that you're not secure of something going down into your throat. So your fast will break. So try to avoid it. But some cases, you can't avoid it because you've got a severe toothache. And toothaches and earaches are probably one of the worst kind of pains that you can have, right? That even men feel, right? So, because mashallah, women, they bear the pains of childbirth and so on. And men get away with that. But when it comes to the ear aches and tooth aches, they are very severe. So if that is the case, then you have to go to the dentist and you know tomorrow... Firstly, if, you get, if you're going to get an appointment, try to get one in the morning, as early as possible. And the reason for this is that in the Hanafi school, you can still intend to fast up to half a day. The, fa the intention doesn't have to be from the night. So the strategy I'm trying to suggest here is keep, a, keep an appointment in the early morning, as early as possible. Don't eat until then. So stay hungry, but you haven't intended to fast. So you don't have any intention to fast, you're just staying hungry. Go to the dentist, get your surgery done or get your treatment. If nothing goes down the throat, now you are free to fast. Because you still got more than half the day left. And you can still make an intention and the rest of it and, and that day will become a fasting day and you'll still get your fast. However, if something did go down the throat, then you haven't broken a fast because you didn't have a fast to start with. So the only thing you're doing differently is you're, you're staying hungry, but you're just not making an intention. Intentions can be made up to just before half a day. And day here refers to from the time you begin your fast at Fajr time, you know, when you have to stop eating at night, that time to sunset Take that entire number of hours, split it in half. See, it's not noon time. It's not sunrise to sunset. It's from Fajr to sunset, half that time. And if you make your, get your intention in just before that, then your fast, that day becomes a fast. So that's one way to get your operation done. Injections do not break the fast. And neither do... So injections or blood uh, tests do not break the fast. However, it's makru to do anything in your fast purposely that is not normal. Uh, that would weaken you and just make you lie down all day and not do any worship. Because the point of fasting is not to just lie down and sleep all day. <laughs>